now we are in front of Basan Towers. Basan Towers are also known as Um Salal Muhammad Fort Towers. In Arabic, Basan means high place. Basan Towers are watchtowers that were built in late 19th century. These towers are located in Um Salal Muhammad, which is a small village located about 20 kilometers north of Doha. Its name derives from the local term Slal or Sal, referring to solid stones which are abandoned in this area. It is a small mosque, served primarily as a local prayer room but was also used as a school for teaching the Quran to children and thus served as a madrasa. These are the halls used by soldiers to observe nearest areas and incoming enemies. The Bursan Towers were built in late 19th century and were renovated by Sheikh Muhammad bin Jasim Al Thani in the early 20th century to serve as watchtowers against the incoming Ottoman soldiers. Although his father had defeated Ottoman several years before the Battle of Wajuba, Muhammad remained wary of renewed military tensions. Now, Bursan Towers are open to visitors for 24 hours. The entry is also free. But you need to register your name in the entrance. While earlier towers may have already existed in this spot throughout the 19th century, the western of the two towers was built between 1910 and 1916 by Sheikh Muhammad bin Jasim Al Thani. They were part of an extreme wall that surrounded the settlement and still exists partially inside the park close to a small mosque. This is a majlis built for receiving guests and for gatherings. It is an L-shaped pavilion. It is Western Tower of Bursan. The Western Tower rises three stories to a height of 60 meter and its walls are strengthened by four conical buttresses. Together with an annex, the building's plan forms a distinctive T-shape which is unique for the tower architecture of Gulf region. Its walls are built by blending, overlapping, undressed masonry blocks of coral stone with limestone and cementing them with mud mortar. The rough walls were then covered with gypsum-based plaster. In accordance with traditional building methods, the ceilings of each three stories consist of four layers. The first is composed of a series of mangrove beams which are usually called danshell, which were imported often from Eastern Africa and sometimes coated with bitumen for protection against termites. The danshell beams were then covered by basil, a layer of woven bamboo strips. A mat of palm leaves were added before the layer of compressed clay provided the insulation. This wooden staircase is being opened to the terrace of the tower where you will get a complete view of the surroundings. 
but the doors are very small so you have to be very careful while you are entering through it. Here, you will get a magnificent view of the nearest environments. The village was developed by Sheikh Muhammad bin Jassim Al Thani in 1910 and secured by a fort that has recently been restored as well. The village was known for its fresh water, the origin of its extensive gardens in which pomegranate and almost all type of trees, Sisyphus and date palms have been planted and various vegetables were grown. Today, however, these gardens have disappeared and Umsalal Muhammad is densely built up with residential houses, villages and public facilities. Most likely, the tower served as a lookout from which together with the part, the surrounding landscape could be monitored. It is also guarded the Rauda, the garden valley with its well and arable land the source of survival and wealth of the villagers. In case of any attack, the spacious ground floor would have offered temporary protection for people and livestock. Local law, however, according to which the Bursan Tower was used to observe incoming pearling ships on the coast, must be regulated to the realm of fables, as the shore lies far away at a distance of more than 10 kilometers and could be barely seen from Um Salal Muhammad. These towers were also used by native Qataris to scrutinize the new moon during the holy month of Ramadan since keeping trace of moon was essential. The Bursan towers were preliminarily restored between 2003 and 2004 using historical photos, descriptions and drawings. In 2013, native trees were planted throughout the site. The towers underwent another round of restoration and maintenance works in 2014. All restoration works aimed at preserving the original fabric of the buildings and to this end, only traditional materials and techniques were used. Today, constant monitoring by Qatar Museum Department of Architectural Conservation ensures that the Bursan Tavos remains as a living testimony to Qatar's past.